Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Rayan Musa and Latif Mohamed. Um, we'll start off yeah. with Latif. Obviously, you're managing Rayan. Just uh, speaking to the guys from Vote Boxing. Really exciting young talent. Where did you hear about him? When did you first see him? And where did it all start? Well, to be fair, Joe, it started... I've been following Rayan for about a couple of years now. Uh, obviously, he's got, a, he's got a really fantastic uh, amateur pedigree. And he was trained by uh, one of his amateur trainers called George, who approached me and said, listen, we've got this talent here. And he wanted to have a look at him. Uh, so I looked at him through the amateur side, obviously, and, and saw him build her up there. It's like two times Northwest Regional Champion. And uh, and youth ch- and youth national champion as well. So I, I, we had a couple of meetings and uh, and it just progressed from there. He, he's naturally talented, very very athletic, uh, and a nice lad to work with. So uh, one thing led to another. He said, "Look, you know, when you're ready to turn pro, uh, yeah, well, we'll sit down." Uh, then George got back to me and said, "Listen, we're you know, Ryan's ready to turn pro." Uh, we had a couple of meetings and then in Manchester, and it really really went well. We just clicked all together. Uh, told him about what we can do. Obviously, we've got a management company. Uh, we're building up slowly, uh, and then and then take it from there. So uh, yeah, that's how that's how it all started. Uh, and obviously, from now he's he's, a, he's got a fantastic network around him. Uh, he's working with with a fantastic gym with the uh, AK Academy, uh, which is like round for round now. Took over by uh, a team of lads there, uh, and that's is she and. Uh, and between them all now, he's got a good backing. So that's how basically it's all started now. So we've started a journey with a debut. And uh, and fingers crossed now, we're just hopefully going to uh, progress now, Joe. Yeah, we'll bring you in, Rayan. Um, when deciding to turn pro is sometimes quite a daunting task to get a team around. You make sure you're in the right place at the right time before you even get a fight. So just how pleased are you with Vote Boxing and Latif and everyone around you so far? Are you asking me, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um right now, um I'm very grateful for the team around me. Uh they're very supportive and yeah, and hopefully looking to just progress from now on. Yeah. You had your first fight, I think you having your second one in just a couple of weeks' time. How did you find that debut? To be honest, I don't I don't really do any research about uh, my opponent. I didn't know him. My um, my manager told me this is a really tough opponent, and I trained. I wasn't as prepared. Like it wasn't as organized. But this time, uh, it will be better. Latif, what's the kind of game plan with Ryan? Is it nice, slow, and steady? Well, he's still young. He's got, I'm sure, a lot of work in and to, to do, but. Nice, steady improvements, and he'll get there in the end. Yeah, it, it, you know what, Joe? It, it, this is this is a, a, a long plan. This uh, we, we're not going to rush uh, Ryan into into big fights or anything like that. You know, it's just a learning process, learning his trade. We've got a fantastic trainer on board now with Bob Shannon. Obviously, you know, he's a legend in the game of trained Ricky Aston and some major, major superstars. Uh, so we've brought brought Bob on, on board. Bob's obviously. Looked at him and said, "You know, potentially with you know, Ryan's got something there. You know, he's such an athletic and strong lad, uh, but but very very raw. Obviously, you know, you 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 know, you're boxing and coming out of the amateurs into a, into the professional ranks, it, it's totally different now. So we've got him planting his feet now. So it's going to be a a, a nice uh, progressive journey, and and then when we're ready to let him loose, we'll we'll let him loose now. So obviously, he's got he's done his debut, which was it was a fantastic camp because obviously." We were was in between two trainers, and you know what? What 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 uh, Ryan showed for me is determination. He got and he got through it. You know, I used to drive from Doncaster to Bolton, uh, just to obviously t- tick him over, uh, and and uh, and it was a tough opponent. You know, uh, uh, you know, the the Jordan Granum who we fought is, is a seasoned pro, uh, and we just thought we'll just see where where Ryan is. Is you know, look, there's no doubt about it. Ryan can punch. He's a big, big, strong lad. Uh, but but his boxing ability is going to come slowly and slowly, so uh, yeah, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a nice steady journey, building him up slowly. Uh, you know, he comes across as quite shy on camera, but you know when he gets into that ring, he just switches on, and 
it's quite shocking for the opponent because we're thinking, well, this quiet lad now is just like, boom, it's like knocking absolutely 10 bells of crap out of me. Uh, so, yeah, just a nice steady away uh, journey, Joe. Ryan, I see you smiling there when you said uh, yeah. he said he's nice, polite. The silent assassin, yeah, when you get in the ring, Mr. Nice Guy goes out the window. Yeah, man, I have to. I can't be nice no more. I mean, okay. if he if he if he had the chance to like um teach me how he would, so why wouldn't I if I do if I can? Yeah. As Lazif said, Ryan, you've now got a, a good trainer. You've got the fundamentals there. Is twenty twenty four the year where you're just going to build, develop, and slowly but surely make your way into this established pro that we think you can be? Yeah, hundred percent. And Latif, when you when you look at Rayan and the fighters you're signing at the minute, I think I saw in a different interview with you, you just want to focus on just a few really good talents. So that being said, said does that just show how highly you rate Rayan? Yeah, you know what we what we're going for, Joe, is is quality rather than quantity. You know, it's it's very easy to sign fighters and say, you know, we've got like twenty fighters. Uh, and, and I think it, it dilutes the concentration. So, you know, we've got like three or four decent fighters. Uh, we haven't got all eggs in baskets with, with, with Rayan. We've got like three or four good lads going to be coming through and just concentrate on them. Uh, we give them 110%. Obviously, you know, we've got a fantastic management team behind it. Obviously, we, you know, with Joe, Yarrell and, and Daniel Francis. So, the support network around, around Rayan and all the other boss, the boxers are absolutely brilliant. Obviously, we, we do the social media. Uh, we do the marketing, the management side. You know, obviously, I look after the the matchmaking. Daniel does. So between us all, it's not just like one head. It's, it's a full team, Joe. You know, and I, I, I can't understand why people. It's not. A, it's not a question of like me, me, me. It's like we, we, we. We all work as a team. Ryan's involved in the team, obviously, because he's the boxer. But the support network behind him uh, is, is absolutely fantastic. He's got a brilliant gym around him as well, Joe. So, you know, we're not going to rush Ryan. Ryan knows that as well because you know he's a work in progress. Has he got talent? Yeah, of course he's got talent. Has he got power? Unbelievable power. And it's, it's all in the ingredients to make a, to, to make the finished product, mate. In an ideal world then, Latif, where do you see Ryan in 12, 18 months, say? Well, well to, to be fair with you, and this is being blunt, bluntly honest, right? You know, if I didn't think the potential were there, right, I wouldn't put in my time and effort into it because it's not about making the money and, and all these dollar signs. It's, if, if anything, it costs us money. Uh, we're, we're going to try getting busy this year so obviously he's, he's, he's out again in a couple of weeks so if we can get him like six this year uh, in 18 months uh, when he's on to the to six and eight rounders then then we'll see potential has he got it yeah of course he's got it we won't put the effort into it but it's all to do with Rayan now it's not about us it's what Rayan wants and how much effort he's going to put on it we've seen plenty of boxers through the past who've actually come through and you're thinking no this guy's talented but does he really want it he's got to want it more than what we want it so yeah, hundred percent. You know, we're looking at maybe you know when he when he's ready and he's got the rounds underneath him. Maybe you know if he's if he's in the if he's in the rankings for a central. Yeah, we'll get him a central and then obviously build up slowly from the central to probably probably the English. Then the English if he goes all right without them the British and then slowly we'll see what to, what prevails. But it's not going to be from lack of effort from our side. Uh, it's all to do with Rayan. It's all about Rayan. You know, we work for Rayan. You know, he he he's the main guy. So. It's, it depends how much he wants it. And I can see that he, he really does want it because this is his dream. Uh, he's actually putting the work in. Uh, so, yeah, it's all about Rayan, mate. Yeah, I'll throw that same question to you, Ryan. What are your key targets and key goals? What did you want to set out to do when you did decide to make the leap from the amateur to the pro game? So, when it's all I want is... Uh, I, I didn't know... Um... Uh, I just wanted to turn pro because I've, I've been told like a lot of times that uh, I fit a pro style and stuff like that. But um, so when I turned over, I liked, I really like it. I like it more than the amateur style. And in the year to 18 months time, um, I don't know. I just want to, I just want to be on top level. That's all. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Latif, Rayan, um, I think that just about covers everything. We'll just finish up by saying it is the 2nd of March in Bolton. You're back out? 
Yeah, second yeah. of March, uh, up at Bolton again underneath Steve Woods uh, VIP. Um, actually, I've got to do a shout out for Steve Woods and yeah. VIP because we were put he's letting us put Rayon on his shows, even though he don't manage the boxers. Uh, so big shout out for them. Yeah, and then because obviously Rick, with him being Joe around the Bolton area, it's all going to be Bolton, Wigan, Manchester. Um, so yeah, around that area. So second of March is out. Uh, have we got a, a superstar they're making? Yeah, we have. Yeah, it's going to take a slow process, uh, and then we'll mould him. And and, and 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 get him up there, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. But like I said, it's uh, it's uh, a learning process for everybody. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for taking some time out of your Friday evenings. Um, I understand it's busy for everyone, but uh, hopefully speak to you again very very soon, and I'll hopefully uh get a chance to catch you in the ring, Ryan. But uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Yeah, big All shout right. out to, to IFL as well. Obviously, thank you for the time and thanks for the interview. I know it's a Friday evening, but. Um, yeah, we really do appreciate the time and effort you put into it. So, yeah, thank you, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.